welcome to Bytes as Piano. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to play Minuet in G minor by Petzold. So this is attributed to Bach, so I've left more info about that in the description. I'm going to use the sheet music with this today. I have listed where I, you can access the sheet music below. It's free with it being just out of copyright of classical piece of music. I will pull each line up, there are going to be six lines, and we'll go over it hands separately, then I'll put each line for you hands together and then I'll do a run through at the end without repeats because there are repeats in this one. There's a lot of ornamentation um, which are just mordants, upper mordants and lower mordants so I'll demonstrate it with and without mordants and explain what they are for those who don't know much about ornamentation. So this one's in the key of G minor so on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of G minor and then occasionally it's in the harmonic minor with the F sharp in there as well. Here is middle C as a reference if you locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano. So we'll do the right hand first, here is the first line. So you're going to put your fourth finger on B flat. So we have B flat, A, G, A, D, D, G, and then a scale from this G. G, A, B flat, C, D, and then E flat, F, E flat, D, C. So do that again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, and one, two, three, one, two, look at the left hand, so start with your two on G. There are no finger numbers written in the version I am using, um, but try to stick to the fingers that I am using here, or if you want to use your own, that's fine, just make sure you use the same ones every time. So we have G, one, two, three, F, two, three, E flat, two, three, D, and up an octave, D, C, B flat, A, and then G and B flat, one, two, three, so four on A, I'll do that again, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, and one, two, three. So I'm going to put this together now. Next line, so carrying on the right hand, so we have two on D, so D, E flat, D, C, and then B flat, C, D, C, B flat, C, and then, so this is, you can just play an A, but the little zigzag looking thing is called upper mordant. So that means you're going to play A, you're going to twiddle between A and the next note in the scale up from it. So like that. Again, it's a very little flutter and ornamentation, bit of decoration. And then we continue from the B flat. So another upper mordant there. Again, you don't have to include it. So it's B flat and then A, B flat, A, or you can just play B flat, A, G, and then A, D, D. So I'll do all that line again. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. One, two, three. So the left hand. So your third finger would have landed on B flat, and then G, took your thumb into A, F sharp, G, and D, octave higher, D, C, B flat, under to A, and then G, two, three, F, two, three. I'll do that.
that again. So I'll put this line together now. Next line, so carry on in the right hand. So G, octave down. G, A, B flat, C, D. And then here we have a lower mordant this time, which is a zigzag with a line through it, which means you you twiddle, if you like. You do a very quick between the, the note that's written in and the next note in the scale below it. So, or you can just play F and then G, F, E flat, D, E flat, F, E flat, D, C, D, G, and then it's up to you which fingers you use here. So we have an upper mordant on C, so it'd be C, D, C, or you can just play C by itself, and then a first inversion of B flat major, so the relative, the chord of the relative major of G minor, so D, F, and B flat. I'll just do all of that line again. In the left hand, so we carried on from this E flat, one, two, three, little finger on D, and an octave stretch, D, C, and then B natural, A, and then we have B natural again with D, G, and then C, A, F, B flat, E flat, um, and then F and A, B, octave stretch down to B flat. Sorry, that was B flat to B flat. <laughs> I'll do that left hand again. One, two, three. Pop this together now. And so this is the first section, and then you repeat that if you want to. So I'm going to play it from the beginning now. to the next section then. So right hand first, next line. So we have four on D and then B flat with your two, under with your thumb to C, D, E natural, under again to F, G, A, then B flat, G, A, B flat, G, A, G, A, and then down to F. So it's like a scale that starts like an F major scale. So F, G, A, B flat, C, D. So I'll do that again. Okay, left 
left hand. So you just played this B flat from the previous line. So now we play B flat, this B flat again. One, two, three, then A, G, F, took thumb into G, E natural, C, F, then A, G, F. We'll do that again. put this together okay Karen in the right hand so we have E flat D C and then F B flat A B flat and then we've got G, D, C, D, G, E flat, D, E flat. And then we have this. And then which is on the next line. So that goes G, D, F sharp, C, G, B flat. So we think of it in chords. Like that. So it starts wide, it's getting more narrow. And then A, your nose on the next line. So I'll just do all of that again. Two, three. On to the left hand, so we have thumb on G and then F, E flat, D, E flat, F, B flat and then pass an octave stretch to D, C, B natural and D, a C, B flat, A, G. I'll do that again. this together now. And then carrying on last line in the right hand, so we have the A, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B flat, C, B flat, A, and then I'll show this without the mordant first. So we have B flat, C, D, G, over to F sharp, swing round to first inversion of G minor, which is B flat, D, and G. So I'll do that again. One, two, three. So here, this is a lower mordant, so we'd play the B flat, A, B flat, like that. So you're like playing five notes there. So I'll do the left hand, so we've got this D, and you're going to hop, thumb on A, A, G, F sharp, E natural, D, and then E flat, D, C, B flat, C, D, G, octave down to G. Do that again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I put this last line together now. Play 
this whole second section now. So that's the end of this video. If you would like to leave a request, leave them in the comments section below of this video. I've also left some videos here that I think you might like, so go and check those out as well. I also have a course. Visit bitesizepianocourse.co.uk and you can enrol and start learning how to read music. I'll see you in the next video.